Hot News Kamala Harris Joins Democratic Presidential Field The New York Times Senator Kamala Harris, the California Democrat and barrier-breaking prosecutor who became the second black woman to serve in the United States Senate, declared her candidacy for president on Monday, joining an increasingly crowded and diverse field in what promises to be. The announcement was bathed in symbolism Ms. Harris chose to enter the race on the Martin Luther King Jr. holiday, an overt nod to the historic nature of her candidacy, and her timing was also meant to evoke Shirley Chisholm, the New York Congresswoman who 47 years ago this week. In addition, Ms. Harris will hold her first campaign event on Friday in South Carolina, where black voters are the dominant force in the Democratic primary, rather than start off by visiting Iowa and New Hampshire, the two predominantly white states that hold their nomination contests first. She will hold a kick for the first time, the Democratic presidential race now includes several high-profile women, with Ms. Harris joining two other prominent senators who have announced candidacies, and a Hawaii Democrat. Ms. Harris made her announcement on Good Morning America and also released a video aimed at supporters and other Democrats. The future of our country depends on you, and millions of others, lifting our voices to fight for our American values, Ms. Harris said in the video. She also debuted, let's do this together for ourselves, for our children, for our country, she said. Ms. Harris' long expected entry comes as many Democrats are eager to find new leaders and as the party grasps for a unifying message. Make sense of the people, issues and ideas shaping the 2018 elections. A 54-year-old former California Attorney General and San Francisco District Attorney, Ms. Harris is something of a bridge between the Democrats eyeing the race who are in their 70s, like former Vice President Joseph R. Biden, Jr. and Senator Bernie Sanders, and those in their 40s, like former Representative Beto O'Rourke and Senator Cory Booker. Further, what I love my country, Ms. Harris said on Good Morning America Monday. And this is a moment, Ms. Harris is not yet well known to voters, but as they face a Democratic nomination contest that is defined primarily by its uncertainty. With Mr. Trump thrusting issues of race and identity to the forefront of the national debate, and the Democratic coalition growing even more dependent on racial minorities, Ms. Harris you the daughter of a Jamaican father and Indian mother you would represent a history-making contrast in a general election against the president like former President Obama, to whom she was compared while she was still Attorney General, Ms. Harris is running for president just two years after coming to the Senate. But unlike Mr. as the first black woman in the Senate in over a decade, she garnered attention from her perch on key committees for her interrogations of Trump administration officials and nominees, most famously during with former Attorney General Jeff Sessions. Did you have communication with Russian businessmen or Russian national? Are you aware of any? You let me qualify, Mr. Sessions responded. If I don't qualify in California, Ms. Harris sought to fashion a third-way approach to criminal justice as a city and state prosecutor, what she dubbed being smart on crime. But like many Demo- but it remains unclear how exactly Ms. Harris will position herself on the ideological spectrum in this race. She does not hurl, Ms. Harris focused her initially campaign themes on broad themes of unity and revitalization, which emphasize her unique status as one of you if not the you most viable black women to ever run for president. Her announcement did, at a recent appearance to promote her latest book The Truths We Hold in American Journey, Ms. Harris, when asked why she would run for president, cited the need for leaders who have a vision of our country in which everyone can see themselves. Democrats flocked to see her at a handful of public events tied to the book and many were enthusiastic about her potential. Her message of unity is key you people need that hope again, said Valerie Salona, a 50-year-old insurance executive, who attended one of Ms. Harris' book events earlier this month in New York. Ms. Salona, I didn't think someone from California could speak to all parts of the country, but I was impressed, said Ava Ligant a surgeon from San Francisco who also came to the New York event. However, 
even before she formally entered the race, Ms. Harris found herself under fire from her own party for the first part of that formulation. One of Ms. Harris' top aides, Larry Wallace, resigned in December after revelations that he was involved in a harassment lawsuit and a $400,000 settlement while working for the California Department of Justice. Ms. Harris has said, supporters characterized her prosecutorial career, which began when she joined the Alameda County District Attorney's Office at 26, as a pioneering in the modern criminal justice reform movement. But critics on the, if Kamala Harris wants people who care about dismantling mass incarceration and correcting miscarriages of justice to vote for her, she needs to radically break with her past, wrote Laura Baislin, a law professor. It remains to be seen, however, how much Democratic primary voters will assess her based on her tenure in California. A Quinnipiac University poll in mid-December illustrated Ms. Harris' potential, finding her with an overwhelmingly favorable rating among Democrats, but with the majority of respondents still wanting to hear more. About 40 percent Ms. Harris, the first major candidate for president from California in over a quarter century, could also benefit from changes to the 2020 nominating calendar. Her native state has Ms. Harris' campaign will be based in Baltimore with a second office in Oakland. In addition to the pre it was intended as another nod to Ms. Chisholm, who used a similar color scheme for her presidential campaign in 1972. Opinion Lara Baislin